Welcome to Study Station, a free Notion template for students. So first what we're going to do is install this. So we go up here and click on duplicate and it will now duplicate to your Notion account. So this is 100% free and you do not need a Notion Plus account in order to use this. So the template is quite minimal as you can see, but that is a good thing because the more cluttered your workspace is, the more distracted you'll be and the less you'll actually get done. So the first thing we're going to do is add some courses. So I'll click on the new button here. And then here I will write whatever the class is. So it is marketing. And then I'll click here on the new course. Now this actually loads in a template with all of the different things that we need. So I'm going to click here and open this in full page. So when I'm in the marketing class, I can sit and have this open and this will have all of the relevant information that I need. It will automatically only show me the assignments that relate to marketing. It will automatically only show me the notes that relate to marketing and only show me the research, again, only relating to marketing. This removes context switching. If you don't know what context switching is, it is one of the worst things for your productivity. It's basically where you go back and forth thinking about one thing to thinking about another and then going back to thinking about the other thing. Every time you context switch, you are wasting 20 minutes. It takes you 20 minutes to get back into the zone of thinking. So I've built this template around that thinking. By the way, if you want to see me build this template and follow along and actually build it from scratch, you can do that. There is a separate video on this channel where I actually go through the process of building this from a blank empty page. If not, like I said, the link is in the description to download this for free. So we have our marketing class here and here we can see our assignments. So let's add a few fake assignments. Report, presentation. So here we can select the relevant course. So by clicking here, I can say, okay, this one is relating to marketing. And if I click here on the presentation, I can say this relates to either marketing or I can create a new course directly in here. Notion Studies 101. Click here, new. And as you can see, it automatically now created another one in here. So this Notion Studies by default will be blank. But if we click on new course here, then it will add in all of those relevant details. If you wanted to automatically give all of these details, what you can do here is click on the down arrow and new course here. You can just turn this on and set as default. But if you don't want these to come up as default, then you can just leave it how it is now. So here we have the report and the presentation and we can select what stage we're on. So have we started, are we working on, or is it submitted? So if it's submitted, it actually automatically gets removed from this uncompleted tab. As you can see, it is no longer here and we can find it under the completed tab. And not only that, it's actually grouping it by different courses. So as you can see here, this report is showing up underneath the marketing toggle. And if we add any others, they will show up underneath the specific course toggle. This is a really useful way to go back and see all of the assignments that you've done for different courses. And not only that, you can fill out your grade. So let's say you got a 70 out of 100, and then let's add another one, report two, and you got a 50 out of 100. As you can see, you can now see your average score for this. This is really useful to know and have in the one dashboard where you're working. So underneath this uncompleted tab, let's add another one. Let's just do presentation two. So here, when we select a due date, let's say this one is on the 15th, and let's say this one is on the 14th. As you can see, it actually jumps up in the queue here. That's because we have a sorting here. This sorting here is saying, show the due date as ascending. This means that whatever assignment is coming up next will be highest up in the queue. This is really useful to know as you can see the deadlines again in the one dashboard that you're going to be using. Your productivity will skyrocket once everything is built into the one dashboard. Now, of course, you can add a nice cover here as well. So you can click on add cover. It will automatically upload a random cover. And if you click on change cover here, you can select one from the default gallery. You can upload a specific one from your computer. You can add a link from online or you can use the unsplash gallery. So I just found a lo-fi one online that I liked. Hit submit and now you can see it appears here. I can reposition here. Now, of course, you can customize this as much as you want. I like having a very simple workspace because it is proven to actually help you with your concentration. But if you want to add widgets in here, if you want to add photos, of course you can do that. I don't advise widgets. I've talked about that in many other videos. It isn't good for your productivity and it can have a huge detrimental impact on your focus. But if that is important to you, then of course, customize this however you want. Then here we have resources with research and class notes. So if I open up research here, I can see every piece of research that I've collected. Now, because we are efficient, we don't want to be collecting research on a singular page. We want research to appear on all of the different pages that we need it. And the same thing goes for class notes. When we take class notes, we want it to appear in the one hub, so the class notes page, but we also want it to appear on the relevant courses. 
So what we have here is quick action class notes and new research. So most likely if we're sitting in class, we're going to have this tab open. We'll have the marketing tab open and take all of our marketing class notes in here. But let's say we're talking to a friend and they give you this note for class. You're not sitting in class, you don't have it open. What you can do is quickly just click on the new class note and take your note here. Be sure to Harvard reference. So here we have now the note that I'm going to take and in here I can add any specific details to the note. Use Blah website to automate the referencing. So now when I've taken that note, I can select the specific course. So I can say, okay, this is for my marketing class. I need to remember to Harvard reference. When I click away, this note has been taken and it's going to appear in two places. It's going to appear here on class notes. You can see here the date of when I took the note, be sure to Harvard reference, but it's also appearing under marketing. I can see here the class note, be sure to Harvard reference. This is super useful to have and we can do the same thing with research. Let's say we're going about our day and we hear this new research that we want to collect. Subscribe to Productive Setups. I couldn't agree more. This relates to the Notion Studies 101. We click here, click away, and now this research has been collected and it's going to show up in Notion Studies. Here we can see the research, subscribe to Productive Setups. And if we scroll down and click on research, you can see it is also appearing here. Everything is dynamic. Everything is showing up in all the different places that we need it. And if we scroll down here, you can see a very simple timetable. So this timetable is actually a database that is connecting to the courses database. So if we scroll down here and click on 9 a.m. Monday, you can see I can select marketing on Tuesday, 9 a.m., Notion studies, so on and so forth. And again, this timetable is dynamic because if we click on marketing, we actually open up the marketing page. We're not working with columns here or just simple text like a glorified Word doc. We're working with a smart system here. If you want to see something even more powerful, then check out my headquarters template. It is the all-in-one Notion system for your tasks, your projects, your resources, your scheduling, your time tracking, your life buckets, your dynamic journaling, your move the needle. Everything is built into the one dashboard to make it the one place that you need to run your personal life, your school life, your work, your side hustle, and everything else that you've got going on. Click on this video here to join the 800 plus users who have given it a five-star rating. If you like the way I design Notion templates, you are going to absolutely love this. Thank you again for watching.